Well, Meek Mill's starting to get back to his own ways. I was wondering how long it was going to take because Meek Mill, whenever he comes out of jail, he's very humble for a while, gets back to work, and then gets back to his old ways where he starts like getting it, poking into stuff that he shouldn't really poke into. Uh, this was a case when he came out of jail and then got with, well, he was with Nikki already, and then uh, called Drake out. Drake, who just gave him Rico, the biggest record on his album, and then called him out for not writing his own raps. Well, Nikki put out a like part of a documentary yesterday where she was talking about her mom and her f- father and how her father would abuse her and make her feel worse. And then she said, then I found myself in that later and someone dragged me down where I didn't even want to go to the studio. Then I went to Miami, then it got away. Then I went to New York and caught a vibe and I started making the Queen album, right? So a lot of people were assuming she's talking about Meek Mill. She didn't say Meek Mill's name. So Meek Mill assumed she was talking about him and he reacted the wrong thing to do, okay? Because now it's going to go tit for tat. Uh, He did this with Wale. He does this with a lot of people, man. And then, you know, then you get Meek Mill like beating people up in the air. Well, allegedly doing things at airports and getting in trouble, you know? Remember when he got safari? (laughs) <laughs> you know, I mean, I like, I love Meek Mill's music, but he makes poor choices sometimes. This is Jordan Town with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. Um, anyways, guys, so Meek, Meek and Nikki probably had a toxic relationship. They probably just weren't compatible, you know, and th- that can happen to anybody, man. You know, I'm not saying that she was, she could have done things wrong and he could have done things wrong. And I'm sure they were just toxic to each other, you know. But Meek Mill, like, I guess she was just talking about, she It's she didn't say that she was abused. She was just in a toxic, you know, like, she kind of implied that. And, but maybe she's just speaking her truth. I don't know. You know, like, I feel bad for her, but I also feel bad for me. I don't know. Like, I don't really feel bad for Meek, but, uh, you know. It's not good to be called that if that's what, not what happened. I don't know. You know, we don't know what happened. Only they know what happened. But Meek reacts with a post saying she's a narcissist, basically. He just doesn't name drop her. He says, uh, narcissist, when concerned, they'll lash out by claiming that they are the real victim. Their story will detail your drinking problem, depression, jealousy, low self-esteem, uh, financial woes, etc., thereby gaining sympathy of their fan club. Meanwhile, you will be isolated and confused while this aggressive campaign transpires, and you will emerge in a tra- in the trap will have been set. Well, a narcissist also projects, right? So they project themselves onto others. He could be projecting right now. I don't know. You know, it's like, this is between these two, but Meek should have probably not reacted to this. He should have probably just left it alone. But that's Meek's problem. He always reacts too fast. When if this was ignored, you know, I, I know he could say, oh, it would spin out of control. It probably would get swept under the rug. Or you would look like the good guy because, I don't know. You know, it's like, I, I feel, you know, if Nikki really felt like that, that's horrible. But I'm sure, I don't think Meek was coming out with any good music then, too. I think they were toxic for each other. Remember, no music was coming out until the end of their relationship when Meek dropped... Uh, Lydia again, he dropped that project and he was back. And it took Mickey a little longer to recover. But eh, that, that was a weird relationship. Not all relationships are good. I mean, that's why we spend a lot of our lives looking for the one that's good for us, right? I don't know. I'm not going to really point any fingers in this one, but Meek's no. Meek's also a narcissist in the sense that he went against Drake. He's one of his best friends in the game back then, you know, like he's guilty of this too. Maybe they're this, maybe they're just the same person, same people just, you know, it's like two ends of a magnet that don't attract. They just push away. Uh, So I don't think they should be pointing the fingers at each other. They should just let it die, you know, let it be over, let it be over. It's Jordan Tower, JT News, hit that bell, hit the subscribe button. Check you later.